Hi, I'm Zoe Ko. Welcome to my bedroom. You're watching Bedroom Pop. I'm going to be singing a song called Petri Dish, which is about being in your early 20s and figuring out your new era that you're entering into. So, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Butterflies are dead, have kept their ashes in my chest For a little bit too long and now I think the bed is spread And while we're talking about legs, you should see mine on his couch But my god, it's chicken noodle soup while he's talking with his mouth Could catch him feelings, uh, it's kinda new to me But hey, I'm dealing under all the scrutiny I don't care if it's a phase Cause I think I like me more these days, yeah I'm so done going by the manuscript, yeah So what? Put my pride into a petri dish I'm 22 and here forever Living out my narrative I'm on a for experiments, oh my So what's tonight? da 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 More lattes and my shift is up at eight. So I'm writing down my number on receipts to set the bait. Last week I had three missed calls. Guess I'm coming out my shell. Cause I woke up the next morning in a bed with Annabelle Meow. Catching feelings, uh, it's so uncomfortable. But hey, I'm dealing being this dysfunctional. Can't you read it on my face? I think I like me more these days. Yeah, I'm so done going by the manuscript, yeah So what, put my pride into a petri dish I'm 22 and here forever Living out my narrative I'm on a for experiments, oh my So what's tonight? da 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 What's up, guys? It's Shwai. We're here on Bedroom Pop with Ms. Zoe Ko. Welcome. Hello, hello. How are you doing? We're good. We're awesome. Good, chilling. Why don't you tell the people where you're from? Okay, I am from New York. Grew up in like Lower Manhattan in Queens. Right on. Do you still sleep with a stuffed animal? Oh my god, yeah. It's literally stuffed <laughs> right back there. So I pull him out. <laughs> What's a, yeah, 100%. What's the name? This is Ralph. <laughs> I got Amazing. him at Anthropology when I was like 10. Love and it, it was actually my cousin's stuffed animal, but then I loved it so much. So then I, was, I begged my mom to get me the same exact stuffed animal. <laughs> so I'm just a copycat. There you go. There I got is. one called Lammy. Oh, good. And it, it good. was lost in the trenches for a long time. And then found? on this recent move, okay. I found it. Oh, shit. And now he's on my bed. Oh, my God. Good. Shout out, Lammy. Good. What? Is your biggest insecurity? Ugh. Um. I think my biggest insecurity is maybe performing. I think so. Like actually, because I just like always seem to get like such bad anxiety, and then like I hate the idea of like misrepresenting myself or not mm. doing like the best I could or something. So yeah, I think I think maybe performing has been my biggest insecurity within the music world. I think one thing just to keep in mind is like when you're about to go on there, you just remember like everybody's there to see you. Yeah. Do you know which what I mean? Is crazy. <laughs> which is a crazy concept, but like I feel like once you get on that stage and you're like in your like chill zone, mm -hmm. this flip switches and you're a completely different person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, biggest musical influence. Um. I would say recently it's actually been Gwen Stefani and like no uh -huh. doubt and I just saw Love Gwen it. perform live at this like very small venue and so she was just like right here and I don't know like her energy was just like so so um, captivating 100%. and empowering so I was like oh, she's shit. amazing I know amazing. that was actually my very I remember very vividly my parents took me to a concert when I was probably in like fourth or fifth grade and it was a no doubt concert and I was just <laughs> like yeah it was amazing it was so good it yeah. was so good um, what's your biggest fear? 
Um, my biggest fear is like not living life to the fullest. Like I just like want to enjoy every single day and like never like hold myself back. So that's my biggest. That's amazing. I feel like a lot of people like tend to like want to achieve that and they just kind of get stuck in this like cycle of life. Right. And it's very easy to lose sight of like yeah. staying happy and doing yeah. something that like makes you happy. So yeah. I feel like people that do understand that, especially at a young age, it's like you, you're you're invincible almost. You no, know? Yeah. I mean, like, it's just so important to like actually get out of bed and out of this tiny bedroom and like totally. go out and just like live life. Experience. So, yeah. That's how you grow, honestly. Right. Um, awesome. So what's your favorite word? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think my favorite word, I guess it's two words or is it one word? I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Spelling is not for me. But tomfoolery. <laughs> okay. There you it's go. just so weird. <laughs> yeah. And I like the idea of it being like a little mischievous. <laughs> there there you go. Um what would you say your best trait is? <laughs> okay, I think I'm a pretty like goofy person, and so I'll just like yeah, kind of I mean, which is the same as the fear thing. Like I I just do kind of like go for life and try random things and I'm usually never the person to like be like no I just don't say no a lot so um love that yeah I think just being more of a yes person and going for things and not being afraid of it right on um let's see what's a good one I got a list of like (laughs) hundreds of questions here here's one what's the weirdest thing you've ever googled Maybe it's like, I mean, this is not that weird, but maybe it's like those fish, those like really squishy looking flesh fish. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? The ones that are like deep sea kind of or no? Deep sea, but like they're just blobs. Like I don't understand how that's a real animal. Like it's just this like blob of a thing. But, and I only mention that it's because I just keep searching it. Like it's just this thing that has been reoccurring over the many years. (laughs) And I don't really know why. Some people just like look like blob fish to me. (laughs) And then I just have to re-look at the fish again. And I'm like, yeah. That is that. <laughs> should have a music video of just blobfish right. on the. Yeah, they should just be like on the bottom of the CD, <laughs> like to the song. Yeah, that's good. Um, what sense, so like sight or taste, okay. or could you live without? Um, the wonderful smell of heated New York City trash. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. I think I've breathed at it in summertime out. stank baby right yeah that i can picture it already so i just the muscle memory can leave at this yeah. point <laughs> um do you believe in aliens oh for sure i think there's just like definitely other beings i 100%. do think there's fairies i really really hope that there's mermaids <laughs> like i just like want all of the those unicorns yeah like why not like, i just like i'm like whatever just like let them let have an them... imagination right i yeah so aliens is like very yeah like the yeah yes. totally <laughs> yeah people that say no aliens i'm like, right. oh, like come on um also would be interesting first of all i really just speaking on an alien really okay. quickly i really want to meet back. one right i don't know if I, we ever will but i do think they definitely have visited us 100 oh, yeah. percent. oh yeah and they might even be walking among us Maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Disguised. Like, right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's definitely just aliens that are like way small, giving fairy vibes. But so we just like haven't maybe seen them or like figured it out. Fair. Yet. I don't know. 100%. Like, I don't know that there's like an alien that's like our size just like walking around <laughs> necessarily. But if there was, whatever. What's up, dude? <laughs> Um, let's see. If there was like one big takeaway that you had from the pandemic, whether it was something you learned about yourself or just like the world or life mm-hmm. in general, what would it be? I don't know that it was like just the pandemic, but I guess like during that time in myself, like I just became much more trusting of the world and like um, accepting of whatever it kind of brings. And I think like there's just like a mentality of like fighting against the way things are going to fall into place or um, what the world might like throw your way. And I think, um, yeah, that, that was the biggest shift of me just kind of accepting it. And like, 
um, just like being very open to whatever life throws at me. And totally. then I'll kind of give give the energy and my dreams to the world. And, and often I felt that they have given it back. So, yeah. Love it. Speaking of dreams, what's your biggest dream? Um, um, I don't know. I actually like, I, I like, I feel like I maybe used to be more of a dreamer and now I'm, I've kind of switched to going very day by day. And so I think my biggest dream is just to be able to really enjoy every single day and, you know, make a living for my music and, um, hope that it connects with people and stuff. And that's kind of it. I just think every single day hopefully will be very enjoyable. Nice. Great outlook. Yeah. Love that. And last song. I mean, last song. <laughs> last question. I know. Words are hard right now. <laughs> what would you do without music? Um, I worked in dog rescue for okay. a while. So I would definitely just work with animals in any capacity. And I still like hope to do that in the future. Like maybe even, yeah, open my own animal rescue of some sort. Love so that. definitely that. Oh yeah, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Ten and sixty with Zoe Co. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs>